Hey guys, so recently I entered the defect for React uh, Next.js server components. I'm having trouble with styles and I'm having some trouble with server components as well. So the problem is that, um, so let's say, let's just call this out, right? So right now this test is skipped and we have a server component here. The server component is uh, basically it streamlines data acquisition, right? So we are, it's an async function, you know, waiting a fetch and then just feeding the data into a client component. So here the user table is a client component and the component testing of that is very easy, right? So it's just your render components uh, right here. That's very easy. So it's nothing special about that, but making the server component work, that is quite tricky. And uh, I haven't seen this covered anywhere yet because it's very new in next 13. Uh, so if you do it the traditional way that we've been used to, like we're stubbing out a network call with intercept and just mounting the component, it blows up in every possible way. And the reason that blows up is because this is an async function. It definitely doesn't like async functions. So if we just comment out this stuff, uh, it's not going to be about happy. like I could put a hard value here, but uh, let's see if we can. It's not going to be happy. Yeah. So the gist of the problem is that it's coming from uh, having to do the async function and the await within a UI component. So it's not happy about those things. So how do we make it work? Well, the intercept is definitely not working. Right? So that goes out the door for sure. Um, what else can we do? So I, well, I'm thinking, like, since this is an async function, we have to maybe just await this component somehow. I'm not sure how, but we have to await it. Uh, so let's just say, uh, const component is users page. And at the end, these are just functions, right? And this one doesn't take any property, so no arguments. And then, um, well, okay, this is a async function, maybe we want to await it. So let's just make it a async function right here. And then we will mount the awaited component. Again, surprisingly that works, um, but this is a component test and it's making the real call, right? And if we use Psi intercept right now, I'm pretty sure we're not going to see anything because we're not letting it await anything. Yeah. So side intercept while awaiting a server component does not work. Uh, the only other solution that comes to mind is stubbing this window fetch. And maybe that's something we can explore. So I have a, I have under the Cypress folder here, I have a JSON file, which I got from the network, right? It's the fixed data. And I'm using it in other tests too, as fixtures. But here, perhaps we don't want to use it that way. We just want to import it. So import users from, and I did the aliasing too. And for that, all I needed to do in this Next.js project was uh, just to add it to TypeScript settings right here. And I'll share the SQL and everything too, so you can reproduce it on your own. Um, so we have that. So now we have to stop window fetch and uh, looking at my notes here style window fetch uh, do, do, do. bad component fetch um, it has to resolve, return a promise so it used to have you have to use results and uh, what does this look like though so it, it has a um, json property right so it has to have that json and the, what we get from the json is um basically that json that we're importing right and it is already an array of items so i think that should be okay um let's try this no it doesn't like that of course that's not a function so then another size stub. Window fetch resolves a JSON, which resolves some data. Oh yeah, this is the way. This is 100% way. So we have to stop window fetch. And 
the result value has to be a stub value again. That is that JSON file. So instead of site intercept, this is the way to go. And then we await it, and then we mount the awaited component. So this is kind of cool. Should uh, render a server component. Okay, so and then so the main points are stop window fetch and then await the server component because it's a sync function that's doing fetch calls and then mount the of the awaited server component. Yeah, it's weird. The uh, sync await in a Cypress test. Glad that's been doing some work. And uh, trying to make a sync away syntax work, so it's more of like assignments, so it's different. But last time I heard uh, there's some work to do to have it support these imports. We don't have any components that, or any file for that matter. That we don't import something, so I wish that part works in the future. But uh, again, we're using a sync away in Cypress. So I want to see this. Well, it, it is supported. It's kind of a, I don't think it's a hacky workaround, it's just the way it is. And I don't think it's any different in any other framework like React testing library. So you have to stop the window fetch. You have to await the component. It's cool that we have access to these um, stuff like sign out with Cypress so we can work around things like that. Um, the defect I entered, I have a link here. So I can't still make the styles work. And if you use this use server directive, it blows up. Uh, but the thing is that in Next.js, everything under the F folder is by default a, so it blows up React server down by backline, blah, blah. But anything under here is already a server component, so we don't have to use this connector. I, I, that's still a defect. I, I think Cypress can make that better. And I, I would like to see that be made better. I can't make styles work. Um, that, that's in the defect too, so the defect is to put styles in this thing. This thing is, you know, we can live with it for a time being, but styles I can't make work. Um, so here's my attempt. I, I did two things to try to make that work. Like if I import the global styles, uh, it blows up in interesting ways. I cannot read properties of, like parent node. Like this is a very Next.js thing related thing. So that doesn't work. And I kind of wish um, there's this layout component, right? I was thinking, yeah, maybe you wrap that layout component and the root layout. Maybe that could work, but that also fails in interest, other interesting ways. Uh, it doesn't like particularly this part. I don't know why, but uh, if we ignore that, then it fails the same way as the styles, right? the same kind of Next.js like that. So except for those two, the style issue and um, the use, this one, this use server directive, uh, except for those two issues, I think things are looking pretty good with Next.js component testing. Um, I'm doing some larger applications now with Next.js and I'll share the repo. Um, so we'll, we'll see how that goes, right? I, don't know any other recipes for next 13 at the moment. Uh, everything we had is next 12, and that's rapidly changing. But this is a good way, right? Stubbing the window fetch, using an async function, awaiting it, and then mounting the awaited component. Works for server components with Next.js. That's all. Better.